with the Eagles, we're 10 and 1. You know, we're doing a really good job here. You know, um, you know, of course, early on, you know, I had mixed emotions, but you know, I, I changed my family life forever. You know, that was that was the goal. You know, so, you know, I'm thankful for this year, but you know, I'm here in Philly now. Step back and watch the step cook. You want 17 birds? Big ring, I play for the 17 birds. In my line, if you want 17 birds, big ring, I play for the 17 birds. I know a guy, if you want 17 birds, big ring, I play for the 17 birds. I know a guy, if you want 17 birds, big ring, I play for the 17 birds. Yeah, I'm from the 17th. Amazing disguise by the Philadelphia Eagles, man. Epps is following this wide receiver, which makes it look like it's a man look. But in actuality, the two safeties drop back and coverage. And Reed Blankenship just reads Aaron Rodgers like a book for his first pick. Fly, Eagles, fly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lil Brunson, back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Listen, before we get into the meat and potatoes, y'all know about the Hurt Season hats. Y'all know what we do, man, over here. Tap in with that, man. Link to the description, all of that. Also, all my music and all of that, it'll be in the description, man. You know where to find me at. Listen, man, he's coming back, and I couldn't be more excited, man. Let's talk about Jordan Davis finally returning to the field, possibly this week against the Tennessee Titans. A 21-day window for him to practice has been activated. He could be back with the ankle injury, you know, probably finally healing up, you know, as soon as this Sunday against the Tennessee Titans. And we know what that does for us, man. We know that that gives us some extra beef up front pause, you know what I mean? So we can, you know, be able to stifle this running attack because that's what it comes down to this week. With this win, the Philadelphia Eagles clinch a playoff spot, but it comes down to stopping Derrick Henry. He's the only thing in our way from us clinching a playoff spot this week. I'm not concerned about the passing attack at all of, you know, the Tennessee Titans, man. This game is going to be an emotional game. You know what I mean? You know A.J. Brown wants to get off. You know what I mean? But Jordan Davis coming back to the field is huge news for the Philadelphia Eagles in a rotational front that involves Fletcher Cox, who has stepped up his play as of late with Indomit and Sue being on the field. Linval Joseph, Javon Hargrave. Now you bring back Jordan Davis, who should be able to soak up game and learn from all of those guys because he is the defensive tackle of the future for the Philadelphia Eagles. To be able to learn from Fletcher Hargrave, Linval, Joseph, and Indomitian Sue is just bonkers to me, man. So I want to get him back on the field as much as possible, man. I think we kind of downplay, you know, the fact that we have some significant injuries and we're still winning football games. That's all a testament to, I think, your quarterback and your coaching staff. When you lose a tight end as special as Dallas Goddard, when you, use, when you lose a cornerback as special and versatile as Avante Maddox, you got to start looking for guys in other places. And we've been plug and play, next man up. That's how we won our Super Bowl in 2017, being plug and play and next man up. But there is no love loss, ladies and gentlemen, between A.J. Brown and the Tennessee Titans fan base and probably the organization at this point, man. A.J. Brown has been asked on multiple occasions, you know what I mean, how does he feel moving forward? And, you, and you know, you've seen the tweets of A.J. Brown kind of taking digs at those guys and the wide receiver core during this stretch of the season. And you see, man, and A.J. Brown came out today, and I quote, man, oh, they hate me. The Philadelphia Eagles star told NFL Network's James Palmer ahead of Sunday's Week 13 game against the Titans. Part of it is my fault. I mean, some people still love me, but I think the majority of their fans are out to get me. It's part of it, though. He is going into this thing with a chip on his shoulder, and I personally expect a big game out of A.J. Brown this week. I expect us to, you know... In some weird ways, I think this could kind of hinder what we've been doing. But to overly commit to getting him the ball would kind of be, you know, a mistake when they don't really have great, you know, passing defense over there. But they are stopping the run defense department. And that's something that we absolutely have to worry about. Because as Dallas Goddard is out of the uh, lineup, the running game has been, you know, that much more effective um, for us. You know what I mean? We've been beating people up. As, as long as the season goes on, we start to activate our big dogs up front on the offensive line, and we've been getting after some people. So I don't really expect that to change. I expect us to still run the ball and see what we can create there. 
But this all really, I, I think that this can be an explosive passing game for Jalen Hurts. I think one of our young tight ends probably emerges this week and gets some targets and be involved a little more. But I think that it could be Quez, Devontae, or AJ just going absolutely bonkers against this team. But AJ will be involved no matter how we like it. You know what I mean? Ball security has been a thing for AJ Brown, but I'm not concerned about AJ Brown. You know what he brings to the table. You know his body of work. We're not going to sit here and act like he's some type of fumbling machine. Yeah, he has some mishaps the last couple of weeks, but he's healthy. You know what I mean? He looks healthy. That blood vessel in his eye, you know what I mean? My man out here looking like Kano. That blood vessel in his eye looked to be clearing up. You know what I mean? He probably been back in the gym getting his regular routine and his regular regimen intact. So I expect to see A.J. Brown being a force on the football field this Sunday, 1 o'clock, when the Philadelphia Eagles go out there and get their 11th win of the season. So, you know, it's a lot of ways that we can do this, man. Stopping King Henry, you know what I mean? Probably selling out to do it. You know what I mean? But, you know, our edge run defense has been a point of emphasis and a point of concern for me as of late. A lot of guys are not really trying to run up the gut. Well, the Packers didn't really try to run up the gut. And when the Colts did it, we sh we shut it down. We got to stop Derrick Henry on the edges. And just because Derrick Henry is out of the game, we still got to be, if he's out of the game for a snap or two, we still got to be mindful of the run. We still got to be mindful of the run. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm ecstatic that Reed Blankenship gets his first start most likely in this game because Reed Blankenship has been marvelous in the box and adding the extra tackler, you know what I mean, to, to, to that third level of the defense of the Philadelphia Eagles. So, you know, I'm excited, man. This is going to be another test. This is a good football team. They got a winning record. You know what I mean? This is a team that's probably going to end up in the playoffs in the AFC picture. You know what I mean? And this is a good test for us, man. You know, people say we can't stop the run. Who better to test that theory against than the Tennessee Titans and Derrick Henry, who's averaging over 90 yards a game? So you know what it is, man. I think the Philadelphia Eagles are going to pull this one out. I think it's going to be a big game from the passing game this week. You know what I mean? I think that they're going to try to do their best they can to not let Jalen Hurts beat them and extend plays with his legs. But hey, being as though you got to worry about that, now we have the opportunity to expose you in different ways because it's already in your mind about what he did last week. Jalen Hurts is the front runner for MVP, in my opinion, man. I like what Patrick Mahomes is doing, but Jalen Hurts, in my opinion, is, is in, in a lot of ways, is kind of like changing the game. And it's a beautiful thing to watch if you're a Philadelphia Eagles fan. So, man, like I said, man, let me know what y'all think in the comments about what could possibly transp transpire in this Tennessee game. I, I think that, you know, home field advantage is a priority for the Philadelphia Eagles. And this, and this game being at home should be a testament of how strong the fan base is when we go out here and get this dub. Um, yeah, let's get it.